All right, guys. When good Samaritans save cops, let's check it out. Why are you getting? Excuse me. I tried to drop my drink. Get out of the car, sir. This is 64-year-old David Kubek, who was just pulled over. I'd be kind of scared if they did that as well, man. You know what I mean? Over for speeding. After the officer approaches the car, Quebec is seen stepping out of the vehicle to get his license from the back seat. I my driver's license. 12 radio, this male just stepped out of the vehicle. Step over here now. Have a seat on the ground. The officer tries to get him to sit on the ground, to which he refuses and aggressively gets in the officer's face. This guy's danger, bro. You need to back up immediately, bro. Just gonna get it from a good Samaritan. Have a seat. I'm not sitting. I'm not sitting! Back off! Back up! I'm not sitting! Put your hands behind your back. I'm not sitting. I will tase you, sir. After Quebec refused multiple orders, the police officer pushes Quebec against the car, which results in a physical struggle. Quickly, the dang, she, dang, she all about it, bro. Straight up pushed him. I'm surprised she didn't like uh, pull out her like taser or anything first. Officer realizes she is overpowered by Quebec. Thankfully, four people passing by get out of their cars to assist the officer and help detain the man. Bro, that's wild, man. Radio semi unit. Knock it off, man. Knock it off now. Even that truck, there's there's more in for it. That truck was gonna pull up as well, man. You don't do that to a woman. Do you understand me? Quebec is being charged with assaulting an officer and resisting arrest, along with his speeding ticket. Oh my god, there's a citizen going after him. Police were chasing a suspect in a stolen truck. They say they tried to pull the man over, but he took off. They followed the suspect weaving through traffic in neighborhoods before finally ending up in this industrial complex. Going behind the building. Okay, got him over here to the... No, he's got nowhere to go. It's over here to the left, Dave. The man took off on foot, jumping over a fence to get away from police. That's a kid. What the heck? Definitely looks like one. Stealing cars? They trying to get freaking. Thankfully, a man. He's trying to go to Jew for for a while, man. And driving down the road, saw the suspect and jumped out of his. Yeah, that's cool. How do they have the, the the streets show up right there, guys? I've never seen it, ever seen anything like that before, man. That's cool. Car and started chasing him down the side of the road. <laughs> Boom. After catching up to the suspect, he gives him a big bear hug and restrains the man until police arrive. Wow. That was a citizen after it. Dog. <laughs> that kid was running slow, bro. The suspect in this blue car was believed to be involved in a recent shooting. The suspect can be seen in an active pursuit trying to evade police, weaving in and out of traffic with multiple police vehicles following. While most people were trying to get out of the way of the pursuit, one vehicle decided to try and help the police trap the suspect. The two vehicles you see here are unmarked police cars. The person in this blue truck was not. You could see them aggressively cut off the suspect and help the police detain the driver. Dang, bro. It looks like there's no damage on any vehicle. Dang, all three of them, guys. Unmarked police cars and everything, bro. He just got out and he was... A mom with a baby... Man, he, he, he's straight up. He's straight up submitted right there. He's like, alright, alright. I'll, I'll go out with that. A freaking 
that escalating it, and that is awesome. The stroller was walking down the side of an alley, waiting for a car to pass them. The driver of the car is 16-year-old Christopher Baca, who seems to be intentionally driving straight towards the mother and her baby. You can see no. Rachel, the mother, attempt to lift the stroller over the oncoming car. Yo, what the heck? After striking the two, the driver keeps going, trying to flee the scene. Just before the teen can get away, a good Samaritan crashes his truck into- The driver pleaded guilty to a hit and run and was only sentenced to five to seven months in juvenile detention. The community was outraged at- the decision, including Rachel. To me, it seems almost the same, bro. I mean, it's because he was a uh, uh, below age. That's why he got like a way less of a sentence, I think. That's what they usually do. Like a light sentence. You try to kill two people and and you get five months in a juvenile camp. However, Christopher Baca was yeah, that, That's still a while, bro. He thought about it long and hard there. Not, not gonna lie. Killed shortly after his sentence was over. Wait, the what? Police raged at the decision, including before the teen can get away, a good Samaritan crashes his truck into the fleeing driver. The driver pleaded guilty to a hit and run and was only sentenced to five to seven, including Rachel. To me, it seems almost like a life of two people, and and you get. However, Christopher Baca was shot and killed shortly after his sentence. Dang, bro! What the heck? Oh, I thought the firefighter passed away. Two police officers Hildo. got into a foot chase with this man who took off after police tried to pull him over for driving a stolen car. The license plate was showing to be a stolen vehicle. During the foot chase, one of the officers starts to tire out. Running in the summer heat with an extra 20 pounds of equipment starts to finally slow him down. What's up? Yeah. No, we've actually seen this one. We've actually seen this one. But that's when Jimmy Davis pulls up and offers the officer a ride. I said, sir, so would you want a ride? He goes, yeah, man, let me get in. The Good Samaritan saw the police chase happening and offered to lend a hand. At the right place at the right time to help an officer. I appreciate it. Davis brings the officer to his partner who already has the Whoever helped him like that deserves, like, extra money, you know what I mean? Expect on the ground. Had to get a taxi, don't mind me. Police were in pursuit of a fleeing vehicle. That, that guy should get like some sort of, you know, award from them, bro. Carrying 30 bundles of heroin. After turning into a parking lot, the suspect nearly crashes. Just seconds later, the man driving this white van has a tough decision to make. He says, if my life has to be put on the line to save five people from getting killed, then my life could be gone. Just crashed out. The man pins the suspect's door shut so he can't escape. Get your hands Dude, up. what the heck? Back up. Intentional crash, and that's the first time we've seen an intentional crash, man. Guys, you think that they'll be covered by insurance? He, he did, he did cause it intentionally, bro. Get your hands up and stay there. You think, you think the police officer, like, uh, uh the department should cover it? Police later found a stolen handgun with 30 rounds in the car. They, they took him out kind of violently, bro, but... And again, doing a, a, a chase like that is not... It's pretty Police violent in of itself and dangerous, so... ...found a stolen handgun with 30 rounds in the car. After pulling a man over for reckless driving, the suspect immediately gets out of his car and lands doing? on the ground in the middle of a busy intersection. What the heck? Did he get like laid out or something? What are you doing? Who? Come here. Come here. Come here. 
man appears very frightened and skittish, which is most likely drug related. Calm down, calm down. Yo, this is the strangest one I've seen so far. What is going on, guys? What are you doing? You're, you're, you're crazy. You're going crazy here. The officer tries to calm the man down for his own safety. What is going on? Because you about you almost crashed into me. Calm down. What's your name? Frampolina. No, 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 no. You better stay right here. Come back here a second. Come back here a second. Yeah, he's definitely on something, guys. Come back here, man. Come on, come on. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back, man. Put your hands on your back. Stop. Once it becomes clear that the man is not in his right state of mind, the officer attempts to cuff him. The suspect begins resisting, which results in a struggle. The officer's body cam disconnects during the struggle, but thankfully another officer arrives on the scene. This man right here, got out well. here is an innocent bystander who later helps the officers restrain the man. Hey, get, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. You can see some blood on his head after taking a punch from the suspect. Put your hand behind your back. Put your Behind your back. Nobody's hey, gonna kill you. It ain't worth it, buddy. It ain't worth it. You okay, sir? You bleeding? I'm fine. Oh, I am. You're, you're bleeding? He's bleeding. He's, he's not the most okay. We're going to rescue. Hey! Relax. Relax. Well, nobody hit you in your face. Relax. Sit up. That's what I mean, buddy. You hit me. You hit me. Sit on your butt. You good, sir? Your officer was just talking to him. Yeah. He shoved your officer, tried to run away. Your officer grabbed his hand. Dang, he scratched up, bro. I didn't even bleed that much from a punch, guys. He's, he's, I thought he'd bleed, like, from freaking, like, having his head scratched against the pavement or something. I don't know, guys. It does happen in, like, USC, so. Okay. Yeah, he did nothing. I was sitting at the light. He was talking to him. Huh? The guy tried to run away. Alright, guys, like. So he says, civilian was the owner of the stolen trunk and truck and hunted it down by quickly stealing the white that white key with the USB cable. What does that even mean? I don't think that's so true. Had to get a taxi, don't mind me, that had me laughing pretty good. Retired Elio here, the female officer in the first clip should reconsider her tactics. I know that's what I was thinking. Her, her ego was writing checks that her, her physical abilities couldn't cash. She should have additional units there before trying to go hands hand with a much larger adversary. This had great potential to end in tragedy. Interesting. Okay, no no comment. Yo, Diddy, thank you for the follow. Just for clarification, the person who said, you don't do that to a woman was one of the good Samaritans, not the cop. Oh, I thought, it, I didn't know. Finally found the video that gives me hope for people in this nation. Alright, guys. And do all my reactions live on Twitch, so if you want to come through, say hi. Please consider donating, donating donation link in below. Also, I don't. If you want to. Yeah. That's about it, guys. Later, guys. Peace out.